United We Om is a 501c3 nonprofit sharing accessible yoga and meditation with trauma impacted and under resourced communities. All of our workshops and trainings are offered by donation with no minimum donation. Your donation directly supports our mission of making the benefits of practice available to everyone. Thanks to supporters like you, we've continued to provide practice virtually throughout the pandemic. Learn more and support our work at unitedweown.org. Thank you. Welcome to Body Loving Fellows. I'm Tamika Nicole. I am your movement guide today. I want you to be mindful of how you're moving um, in your body. Don't go to your edge. Just work on finding the goodness. If anything doesn't feel good in your body, just uh, pause, readjust, and find a modification. I'll be giving some modifications as well. So let's take a full breath in. I want you to breathe out with a big sigh. And move that body. Just start introducing movement to the body. Let the body know that we're gonna send it some love. In the next few moments, get those shoulders, those hands, those wrists, those fingers. We want to get everything involved, your legs, your toes. Just move around your head, your neck. Take the arms up or out or down. Just move and notice the sensations in your body. Uh, moving around. Yeah, there you go. Oh, Miss Yvonne, your arms are high today. You've been working out. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Joyce. Ugh. Keep moving. I just warmed my whole self up. Keep going, keep shaking. Ugh. And give a nice big hearty shake Ugh. and come into stillness. Yes. <laughs> and just come into stillness and settle in to the surface that's supporting you. You might have to move a little bit of the flush from your backside and let those sitting bones, feel those sitting bones move down into the surface that's supporting you. Imagine there's a magnet pulling you up towards the clouds. You get a nice long spine. Let the rest of your body melt into the surface. Just notice how you feel. Notice how your breath is flowing. Notice any sensations. Now bring your attention to your belly. And as you breathe in, feel the belly soften and expand. And as you breathe out, feel the belly release. The navel is floating towards the spine. Again, breathing in, the belly expands. And as you breathe out, the belly releases. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. As you breathe out, soften your face. Soften the muscles around your eyes, your cheeks, your jaw. As you breathe out, relax your neck, your shoulders, your arms. As you breathe out, relax your chest, your belly. Let 
soften your upper legs, your lower legs, your ankles, and your feet. Just notice how you feel in this moment. Now let's begin our cleansing breaths. We'll breathe in through the nose. Pause your breath. Open the mouth and breathe out. Push all of that stale and stagnant air out of the lungs. Close the mouth. Breathe in. Pause the breath. Open the mouth. Breathe out. Close the mouth. Beautiful, everyone. Breathe in. Pause the breath. Open the mouth. Breathe out. Close the mouth. Breathe in. Pause the breath. Open the mouth. Breathe out. Close the mouth. Breathe in. Pause the breath. Open the mouth, breathe out. Close the mouth. One more, breathe in. Pause the breath, open the mouth, breathe out. Close the mouth. Allow the breath to return to its natural flow. Good morning, Miss Lucille. Let's notice how you feel in your body. As you inhale, take those arms and float them down. <clears throat> Fingertips pointing towards the earth. Let the shoulders relax. The spine is nice and tall. And as you breathe in, bring those arms up, palms are facing up. And as you breathe out, you're gonna turn your palms down and take the arms back, all right? We're just warming up, breathing in and up, turn the palms up. And taking the hands down. Breathing in and up, relax those wrists and those fingers. Now just imagine that you're tickling a waterfall as you take those hands down and back, waking up the fingers coming up. And you're going down. Yes, looking good everyone. Feel that rotation in the shoulders, breathing in and up. Keep that spine nice and long. And when you're breathing out, just turn the hand. Yes, beautiful. Taking it up to the back. Breathing in and up. Just imagine that you're playing in water, tickling the waterfall with your hands, float back, waking up the finger joints, breathing in and up. You know how you would splash water? Imagine playing in water. Keep going. This is your breath in. Pull that water up. You know that water can be heavy sometimes. Right? So when you bring in those hands up, feel that little bit of resistance as if you're moving some water up. Yeah, you got it. Taking it down and back. Just a few more here. Lift that water. Beautiful. Don't lock those elbows. Let the elbows be soft. Right? Because if we lock the elbows, we'll stop that energy flow. We don't want to stop the energy. Last one. Take that waterfall, take those arms down and back. 
and float the arms down right here. Give those shoulders a little rub, a little twist. And bring those arms up, breathing in and up. Palms are facing up to the sky. So we're right here. We're gonna take our right hand and put it right behind our head. And our left hand is gonna come right and rest on our lower back. Open up that chest. Lean back just a little. And release, let go. One more time. Lifting the chest. So to lean back into your hand. Feel that stretch opening up the chest. Yes. And now turn to the right. Oh, feel that stretch. Notice where you're feeling the stretch. Adjust yourself if it feels uncomfortable. If putting your hand behind your back is not comfortable, just let the hand, the other hand rest and just take that stretch in. And then bring yourself back to center and twist to the opposite side. And if the hand behind your back is not comfortable, just release it, maybe on your hip, maybe it just hangs down. Play with the movement, come back to center. Release the arms out and float them down. Take it out. Other side, get a nice stretch. Bring the hands up. The left hand is coming behind your head, right hand behind your lower back. Now, if that's not comfortable, drop that hand down and do the same movement. Here's a modification. And lift the chest, lift the chin, feel that stretch in the back, the chest, and release, come back to center. That's your breath out right here. One more time, lifting the chin, the chest, opening up as comfortably as you can and coming back to center. Turn to the left. Feel that stretch in the torso, the lower back, sending love to the kidneys, coming back to center. And we're going to go to the other side. Twist. Back to center. You got it. Release the arms out. And let them float down. Give yourself a little shake. Just notice how you feel. What's the sensation on those body parts that you just worked? Inhaling the arms down. Exhaling the arms right in front of you. Bend those elbows. Release, open up. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Beautiful. Exhaling. Relax those fingers, those wrists. Inhaling. Exhaling. Keep going, inhaling, exhaling, two more, inhaling, exhaling, one more, inhale, exhale, and rest. Keep that spine nice and tall. Inhale the arms down. You're gonna bring the arms in front of you right here at the chest, interlace the fingers and push forward. Feel the rounding in the back, relax the shoulders. Inhale up. 
Soft elbows. Exhale down. Keep those arms moving. They're coming right in front of you, pushing forward. Taking the arms up. Soften those elbows, shoulders, and coming down. Now go only as high as comfortable for you. Keep going at your own pace. Push out. Notice that your navel is going towards your spine as you push. There's a rounding in the back. Arms come up. And floating the arms down. Beautiful movement, everyone. Keep floating. I'm just going to pause and check you out. Nice, beautiful. You got it. There you go, Miss Barbara E. You got it, Miss Bella. I see lots of wings. There you go, Miss Lenore. Miss Joanne B, I can't see you. You got it, Miss Aretha. Now, only go as comfortably as you can when you go up. There you go, Nana. Beautiful. Nice release in the arms when you take it down. Rest when you need to rest. There you go, Miss Carolyn. Keep going. Go only as comfortable as you as you go. Breathe out through your mouth. Don't hold your breath. You got it, Miss Sheila R. Keep going. There you go, Aunt Lois. Keep flowing. Okay, come on, come back, come back, come back. There you go, Miss Jackie B, you got it. Relax the shoulders, everyone. Beautiful, Miss Barbara R, keep going. Let me see what praise dance Miss Joyce doing today. Yeah, she's still praise dancing. <laughs> I see you. Keep going. Miss Sheila. Oh, Miss Lucille. Sister Barbara. I hope you're fine. Right, I can't get in. You can't get in? Good for you. How can't you get in? Let me start again. I think you muted I'm yourself. Making you on mute. Keep going. So remember that if technology knocks us off and we can't get back together. Just keep practicing the length of our time together. Two more, two more. Are you starting to feel warm and fuzzy inside? Keep going. All right, I see you, Sister Barbara. You got it. When you complete Year two, just rest. Notice the sensations in your arms, in your shoulders. Give yourself a little rub down if you need to. Good. All right. Are you warm on the top? <laughs> Let's get warm on the bottom. <clears throat> get that spine to the cloud. Lift from the thigh. 
by lifting up. Notice if you stay center or did your body shift. Just notice. You want to stay centered. You want to stay aligned. Notice the heaviness of the thighs. Make the movement with your ankle, whether it's circles or maybe side to side or point and flexing, whatever feel good, but make sure that you get to both sides. And release, put your toe down, the ball of your foot, then your heel. Let's shift to the opposite side, coming up. There you go, Miss Lucille. Lifting from the thigh. Notice the heaviness of the thighs. Notice if your shoulders are starting to come up. Just release, roll those shoulders back and down. Make some movement with the ankle. Make sure you go both directions. Come into stillness, release that foot down, the toe, the ball of the foot, then the heel. Coming back to the left, lifting up. Extend the leg out as comfortably as you can. Whatever feels good for you, wiggle the toes. And bring that knee back in and release down, toes, ball of the foot, heel. Shift to the other side, lifting up. Bending out. Little those toes. Bring it back in. Take it down. So now that we're warming up the legs, our upper body is warm, let's put it all together. So we're gonna take our arms down, our elbows draw back, we're coming around. Extend that left leg out. Your heel goes into the earth and hinge forward. You can touch your toes. Your ankle, your feet, your knee, wherever your hand lands, that is okay. Lift those hands up, soft elbows, and step in, bring those arms down. Here we go, take those arms back. So you're lifting your chest, rotating the shoulders, extend that right leg out, hinge forward. Don't just throw yourself forward, hinge from the hip. Touch your toes, your ankles, whatever is available. Release the hands up. Looking good, everyone. Stepping right back in, taking those arms down. Keep flowing. Here we go. Lift that chest. I'm touching and beating up on Tinkerbell here. Extend, hinge from your hip. What's your belly doing? Where's your navel? Let your navel go towards your spine and float up. Relax the elbows. Bring that leg back to in and float down. Keep going. So you're pushing up, coming around and folding. Touch what you can. Don't force yourself. I'm gonna pause so I can check you out. Keep going. Draw those elbows back and rotate the arms forward. Notice that sensation in the chest. When we open up the chest, we're sending love to the lungs. So we want to get that lung happy. Keep going. Oh. Navel towards your spine. And although we're working the shoulders, it doesn't mean that they should live here. Let them relax and be loose so you get full range of motion as you hinge forward. Bring yourself up and take it back. Getting that whole body nice and juicy. Keep going. So feel that rounding or the lifting of the chest as the arms go back. 
Good morning, Miss Sherry. Keep going. Round, not round, really lifting. Ugh. The hands, the shoulders. Beautiful. Just a few more. And modify it as you need to modify. Don't push yourself to your edge. Rest when you need to rest. Extend that leg out as comfortably as you can. If extending the leg out is not an option today, just work from right here, wherever the leg is. Notice the sensation in your back. Where do you feel the sensation? Beautiful movement, everyone, you got it. Don't hold your breath, breathe out through the mouth. My friends with shoulders issues, be very gentle with the shoulders. Two more, one on each side. Make it really delicious. You got it. Beautiful. As you go around, then extend that leg out, folding forward, touching. And bring yourself up. Bring it all back in. And once you complete each side, just gather and release. And rest. Just notice how you feel. Get some water, refresh yourself. All right, we're gonna keep with that flowy motion. We're gonna step out to the left. <clears throat> and you're gonna have to play with this movement so that you find your sweet spot in it, okay? You're gonna bring your hands to the front as you hinge forward right here. And then you're gonna pull yourself back. Your leg might extend or it might just stay the same, taking your arms around. When you come forward, that knee is bending and you're pulling yourself back in. When you pull yourself back in, get that navel towards the spine. Coming forward, there's a little hinge, bend that knee and pull in. When you pull in, I wanna encourage you, lift your toe so you get a little action there. When you're coming forward, bend that knee. Coming back, forward. Whoa, you look good. Keep going. I'm going to pause. If it doesn't feel good, adjust yourself. Think about your back, the middle back, the lower back. What's happening in your shoulders as you just gratefully flow with this movement? Bend that knee. This is your breath in. When you pull it together, your breath in. The leg may extend out, toes come up. And then breath out. You go forward. Breathe in. Yes, looking good, everyone. Just a few more. What's the sensations in your arm, your shoulders? Get that navel towards your spine. Oh, you all look beautiful. I hope you're finding the goodness in the movement. And remember, you have a, a hinge. Don't just throw yourself forward. Hinge. One more, one more on this side. Oh. And you're going to release your arms, step back in, come back to center. Woo! So much grace on the screen. How are we doing? We're okay? All right, you warm and fuzzy inside? <laughs> All right, you're gonna go to the opposite side. So you're stepping out with the right, adjust yourself <clears throat> in your chair so you're comfortable. It should be up close towards the edge, but make sure that you are safe, okay? 
and just play with the movement because you may need to adjust. Maybe this knee, this leg folds in. It's okay. Just have fun and enjoy the movement. All right. So the arms are going around. We have a bend in that front knee. We're hinging forward and we're pulling in. As we pull in, the elbows go towards the back, the chest lifts. My leg extends slightly, toes are to the sky. And then I release, bend that knee, coming in and pulling back in. Now be gentle with your movement, all right? Be gentle with your body. If the knee or the leg doesn't want to join the party, then give it permission to not join the party. So I'm going to pause so I can check you out. And here's a modification for anyone who uh, the folding is not good. Just bring the arms around and in, just turn to the side. Maybe you're not tilting forward. Maybe you don't have a fold, a fold forward. Right here will give you some goodness too, all right? For everyone else who's not modified, get that flow hinge at the hips. Release, bring back, extend that leg out. Notice what you're feeling. Take those arms around and pull back in. Woo, good. Are you finding some goodness? And again, a modification. Just bring your, work your arms around. Pull those elbows in. You got it. Getting that energy flowing. What's the sensation? You have any sensation up and down your spine? Just notice if you do. Relax your hands, relax your fingers, your wrists, and just flow with it. Okay, keep going. What's the sensation in your head, in your neck? Awareness is key for healing. Taking those arms uh, back and around, bringing them forward. And then bring yourself back and extend that leg out. Right? So you almost have a forward. It's almost like a rock. Oh, you know what it feels like? It's like you're rowing a boat. You ever rowed a boat before or seen someone row a boat? Yeah, it feels like that to me. So, Extend that leg, toes up, but if no leg action, just keep those arms going. Two more, two more. And when you complete your two, release the arms, turn the center, bring it all back in. Beautiful. Miss Jackie B, you had Miss B. You jump right in like you was never gone. <laughs> you just flow in. Give yourself a rub. Notice where you feel the sensation in the body. Now, all this movement is to get energy flowing, get blood circulating, get that air moving through the body. You all right with that movement? Was that okay? All right, because now we're going to add on. <laughs> so we're going into the same setup. Get some water. Just refresh yourself for a moment. We are almost, almost to our close. Nice Tuesday stretch. Stepping out to the left. <clears throat> now we're set up the same way. Find your sweet spot. And so here's the add-on. Just watch me for a second. The arms come around. We got a hinge forward. Clasp the fingers. And imagine someone's pulling you forward. Look down. Release. Bring yourself back. You can still move the leg, work with the leg if that feels comfortable for you. But we're coming around. Jump in when you're ready. Clasp the hands. Pull. Imagine someone's pulling you forward. Take that head down and release the hands and pull back. Keep flowing around, hinging forward, clasp, look down. Someone's pulling those arms forward, release, pull back. 
two more. I'm gonna pause, check you out. Notice the sensation and really bring yourself back. Take those arms around, getting lots of action to the shoulder. Front knee is bent. Someone's pulling you forward. You're looking down and coming back. When you complete your two, just release and step back. Look at how working hard on Tuesday. <laughs> looking good, everyone. Notice the sensation. Notice what you're feeling. You open up the front of the body, the back of the body. We don't want anything tight and constricted. We want it free and flowing. Complete your two and just step on back in. Just take a moment to gather and release right here. Bring in the goodness. Letting it wash down through your body and releasing anything that's not serving you. Beautiful. Give yourself a little shake if you need to. You still got one more side to go. Opposite side, you're stepping out, adjusting your body as you need to. Finding your sweet spot. I always want you to find your sweet spot and your sweet flow. I'm just guiding you. What feels good to me may not feel good to you. So make sure that you're making the adjustment. There's a bend in this knee. Here we go. We're taking the arms around. Interlacing the fingers, they're clasping together. Gaze down. Imagine someone's pulling you forward. And release the fingers and float yourself back. Extend that leg out if that's working for you. And flowing again. Bend in that front knee. Extend. Someone's pulling you forward, looking down and coming back in. I'm going to pull so I can check you out. Yeah, there you go. You're right, Aunt Lois. Okay. Now be mindful of your back, right? When you're stepping, you're stepping out and you're hinging. Don't just throw yourself down, right? You want to protect the back, protect the spine, coming around, clasping, looking down. Imagine someone's pulling you forward, navel towards your spine, get that core strong. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. And modify as you need to. Feel that stretch in the arm, in the back. Beautiful. Really bring those elbows back, right? Because we're opening up the chest. As we open up the chest, we send love to the lungs. Keep going. Arms come around, interlace the fingers, clasp the hands, looking down, and bring yourself back. Two more, two more. Beautiful movement, everyone. Keep going. And those, if you just want to be right here, just clasping and looking down, you can do that as well. You still feel the same sensation, the rounding in the back. Beautiful. When you complete your two, you're just going to step it all in and rest. Yeah, then release. And just take a moment to go inside. Right hand will rest right below your navel, left hand on top, interlace, web those fingers. Just connect to your energy bank. You got a lot of energy flowing. Just go inside and notice how you feel. Notice the sensations in your body. Mm 
All right. Release the arms down. Give yourself a shake. We just did a lot of folding. Um, so there might have been some compressing in the back. So let's just release. Taking those shoulders, those arms, and swinging them any way you like. Just letting the back go, letting the legs go, whatever works for you. Bring the elbows in, just twisting as you bring the elbows up. Just releasing the back. And rest. Ooh. Just notice the sensation. Inhale the arms down. And just hinge forward, hinging from your hip. Let those arms come down, shake the shoulders, shake the head. Let it be loose. And then we're gonna float the arms up towards the sky, wherever your sky is today. And then just hinge forward, let go, let the arms swing through the legs, shake the shoulders, the head, just releasing. Anything that we forgot to let go. Shaking, getting those shoulders out. Breathe out through the mouth, don't hold your breath. Just release. We got it, just a few more. Keep your spine nice and long. Breathe. Beautiful work, everyone. Two more, two more. Yeah. When you complete your two, just rest. And just go inside, notice the sensations in your body. Oh. <clears throat> Let your hands float down towards the earth, fingertips pointed towards the earth. You're going to bring your arms up in front of you. You're going to cross your hands right in front of you, soft bend in the elbow. That's your breath in, your breath out. See my hands are going, I'm pushing away. As I push away, look over your right shoulder. Release, bring the arms back around to the front, crossing right in front of you. And as you release, push away, looking over the shoulder, opposite side. Coming back to the front, crossing, releasing, push away. Keep that spine long and juicy. Coming back to the front. And opposite side, turn the head. Taking the arms back as comfortably as you can. Don't force anything. Looking over that shoulder. Keep flowing. Notice the chest is lifting and the arms go back. You cross the arms, notice your wings are spreading in the back, in your back body. Looking over, coming forward. Beautiful, keep going. Arms coming together, breath in. Arms going out, pushing away, breath out. 
Keep flowing. One more each side. Then we complete your two just right. Take a moment to gather and release. And just go inside, sit comfortably in your chair, and just notice how you feel. Notice the sensations in your body. That's your spine. <clears throat> Just notice your body, notice the flow of your breath. Now let's use our imagination to move the breath around the body. <clears throat> if the breath feels like it's unable to go to the places that I mentioned, it's okay. Just allow it to go where it wants to flow. Bring your attention to the base of your spine. We're gonna breathe in and up to the top of the head. Breathing out and down to the base of the spine. Breathing in and up to the top of your head. Breathing out and down to the base of your spine. Breathing in and up to the top of your head. Breathing out and down to the base of your spine. Breathing in and up to the top of your head. Breathing out and down to the base of your spine. Breathing in and up to the top of your head. Breathing out and down to the base of your spine. Breathing in and up to the top of your head. Breathing out and down to the base of your spine. Breathing in and up to the top of your head. Breathing out and down through the soles of your feet. Breathing in and up to the top of your head. Breathing out and down through the soles of your feet. Breathing in and up to the top of your head. Breathing out and down through the soles of your feet. Breathing in and up to the top of your head. Breathing out and down through the soles of your feet. Breathing in and up to the top of your head. Breathing out and down to the base of your spine. Breathing in and up to the top of your head. Breathing out and down to the base of your spine. Breathing in and up 
to the top of your head, breathing out and down to the base of your spine. Breathing in and up to the top of your head, breathing out and down to the base of your spine. Let go of the breath moving. Allow the breath to return to its natural flow. Observe the sensations in your body. Notice the quality of your thoughts. Notice how your breath is flowing. Notice the beat of your heart. Let's scan our body one more time and just check in with ourselves. You bring your attention to the soles of your feet. You bring your attention to the top of your feet. To your ankles. To your shin. Knee, the back of the knee, upper leg, belly, chest, shoulders, arm, wrist. Hand, each finger. Can you bring your attention to your neck? To your face, your cheek, your jaw, your mouth, your nose. The space between your eyebrows, your forehead, the crown of your head. Notice the light. Imagine there is a light to notice. Beaming down into the crown of your head from on high. A brilliant white light shining through into your body, illuminating every cell, every molecule, every fiber, and every joint, every nerve, every muscle, every tendon being filled with divine light. Just take a moment connecting to the divine light. Allow the breath to flow smoothly and gently. No need to force anything. Just allow it to be. Take a moment to set your intention for the rest of your day. How do you wanna exist in this day? Who do you wanna bless in this day? How will you share love in this day? Set your attention and start with the words. It is my intention today. 
for me, it is my intention today to live in harmony and balance and be a blessing to all those I encounter. And set your intention on how you're going to exist in spite of what may be happening in the outside world. How do you want to feel in your inner world? Take a full breath in through the nose. And just allow those intentions to just flow through your body. And as you breathe out through the mouth with a big sigh, allow the attentions to release out into the atmosphere. Allow the breath to return to its natural flow. We close the practice with a hand gesture, universal hand gestures, palms together and chest. Prayer pose. I thank you for sharing in the practice with me today. It is definitely an honor and a privilege. It is my heart's desire that you go through the rest of your day filled with joy and love, knowing that all grace is abounding towards you. And I close the practice by saying a namaste, ashe, amen, and p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p